Reporter Grace King takes a closer look at the money spent so far in this race. The city of Knoxville budgeted $325,000 for the August primary election and regular election in November. Officials estimate that 50,000 ballots will be cast in those two elections. Broken down by vote, the city is spending about $6.50 on each ballot. I like it just like it is, and I have a lot of reasons why. Knox County Administrator of Elections Cliff Rogers says the expense is worth it. The people that care, really care about the city, they're coming out to vote. He says they also use city elections as a training ground for presidential years, like 2020. And there's really no better experience and no better training than doing an election. Six candidates are vying to be the next mayor of Knoxville in the primary election. Only two will move on to the regular election unless one candidate gets 50% plus one of the vote. If 20,000 people vote in the primary, here's how the spending so far breaks down. We use candidate filings as of July 10th. Eddie Manis spent the most at 879 a voter. Marshall Stair came in second at 651 a voter. India Kincannon, 298, and Fletcher Burkhart, 17 cents. Neither Michael Andrews nor Calvin Taylor Skinner had spent anything, again, as of July 10th. For Fox 43 News, I'm Grace King. Those numbers will likely change dramatically next week when the candidates report their spending from the last month. We're going to hear.